But he was with another guy as well, or was it one of... He was with a crew member. Oh, it was the crew member that, that uh, escorted him down there. He was trying to get a crew member to, to show him where everybody was at. And uh, the crew member kind of let him off somewhere else. And, oh, okay. Uh, sure. That's smart. Thank you, Yeah. Why would they... Yeah, that's kind of silly. Um, <laughs> so... Did he have, I mean, all these guys had, like, assault weapons, right? They all had guns. Well, it, that's the funny thing. It turned out the guy that came down that we jumped, I don't think he actually had a weapon on him when he came down. Uh, I don't, it seems kind of silly. I don't know, I don't know if, they, if they were that confident that they had control of the situation or, or what. But, uh, I mean, of course, the, the guy that jumped him didn't know because it, uh, it was dark and uh, he couldn't tell. You know, it was pitch black. He, he didn't know if the guy was armed or not. So Gosh, when he jumped him, he didn't know, and uh, but we didn't uh, we didn't find any kind of weapon afterwards. What did you think when he did that? I mean, was that that's so I don't know. It had to have been scary for him to yeah yeah to put himself out there like that. Were you expecting him to get jumped or? Uh, no no. Okay. It was yeah. totally impromptu. It, it no, wasn't I, like I, everybody had formulated a plan or something. No no I uh, I uh, I didn't know anything about it until I I, I heard the the commotion. I heard a lot of yelling and, and shouting going on and. Uh, so it wasn't a, you know, I, I heard it going on, but at the time I didn't, I didn't know what was happening until it, it was all over. The guy that jumped him, what was his, can you tell me what his job was on the ship or uh, what he was doing? I don't want to mention that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't think he has any <laughs> press attention. Yeah, okay. Um, so you, your crew, I mean, you guys aren't allowed to carry weapons on the, on the ship, is that right? That's right. Except for knives, and I mean, definitely not guns. Oh, we have work knives. You know, most most crew members use knives for mm -hmm. as a part of their job. Yeah, because so I read some small yeah. things like that. I mean, you know, we have stuff like fire axes, and of course, it's an engine room, so there's always like pieces of pipe and stuff like that you can grab. But yeah, so you guys are. Yeah, it's, um, tell me a little bit about um, the trip back home. Did you? Um, where did you? Where did you fly into? Uh, Andrews. Andrews, Andrews. And did you meet him there? Yes. And when, when was that? Uh, they flew us up, what was it, Wednesday? I don't know. It seems like a I think, time yeah, they flew us up there. The families flew in on Wednesday, um, you know, morning, afternoon, throughout the day. And um, the guys landed. Originally, they were supposed to be in. They had thought about 10 or 11 o'clock, but with the weather and the storms and everything, you know, they didn't end up landing until, well, geez, it was probably closer to 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. on uh, Thursday morning. So tell me about the homecoming when, when the guys arrived. It was uh, very exciting. <laughs> yeah, it was it was definitely exciting. You know, they had um, they had all of us in a, a lounge, you know, over at Andrews waiting for him to land and they actually had this little T V screen up and um, they had, you know, the position of the plane, like we were tracking the plane where they were coming in and you know, they were kinda of coming in and updating us oh, saying, cool. you know, okay, you know, half an hour, twenty minutes and um you know, it was just, it was all family and, you know, some of the representatives from the company and stuff were in there at that point. And um, I guess it was about five minutes out, they, you know, brought us out to along the flight line and we watched them land. And then, um, you know, as they were taxiing them around where they were going to park at, you know, they let everybody kind of come forward a little bit more. And pretty much once they were parked and they had the, uh, had the stairs up and the, you know, the they were, you know, kind of up there prepping the guys, saying, yeah, I think, saying probably, yeah, get ready, there's going to be a lot of cameras down there waiting for you. Um, you know, they let everything yeah. pretty much come right up to the bottom of the stairs. And, you know, they started filing down, and it was just everybody running for their running for their family member at that point. <laughs> probably like a scene from a movie. That's what it sounds pretty like. Pretty close, yeah. <laughs> it really was. That's exciting. Yeah. Did you have any other family there at all? Uh, no, just I was the only one there, so. Um, and where, where are you from again? I, uh, was born in Pasadena, grew up in okay. Plano. And oh, yeah, that's right, Plano. But you're from Pennsylvania? Yeah, New right, Pittsburgh. Okay. We all met on a ship, is that right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's cool. Yep. So what's next? When are y'all going to be shipping out? You're, you're next, right? Are you going? Uh, next yeah, we're waiting to see what's happening. Um, <laughs> I mean, we don't know exactly what he's going to be doing doing yet, you know, waiting to see how things work out with the schedules, and I'm going to probably be out of vacation somewhere around the middle of May, so mm -hmm. I've got another couple weeks before I'm going to have to go back. What's the, um, what's the best thing about being a sailor? 
Um, I think the best thing is, uh, well, I love being out on the ocean, the water, the stars at night, uh, going to interesting places, seeing, I've seen a lot of things, been to a lot of countries, and, uh, and I enjoy the work, you know, fixing things. It's not, it's not the same thing all the time. There's, there's yeah. some variety, and, uh, so it doesn't get too boring. Is that why you wanted to, to get into it to begin with, or? Um, <laughs> You know, I was, I was getting ready to graduate high school and really had, had no idea what I wanted to do. And uh, that's when I found out about the Merchant Marine Academy, and it, it sounded adventurous. It sounded like seeing some of the world and that. If I hadn't, if I hadn't done that, I, I probably would have gone to the Navy. Mm -hmm. And what is, what's the worst thing about it? Uh, the worst thing is, is the time away, you know, being away from your family for three months at a time. Which is also one of the good parts about it is, is coming back and being home for three months at a time and mm -hmm. not having to work. So the vacation time is good. <laughs> right. Um, you know, during during the event, how did you feel when the captain gave himself up to save everyone else? Um. Well, I, I think I think we all felt a, a sense of relief once the pirates were off, naturally. But of course, you know, we were we wanted our captain back, and we were worried for him. So, you know, I really, yeah, I really felt all along that this would end well because they, uh, you know, those guys are out for money for ransom. So I didn't think, I didn't think they were going to harm the captain. Yeah. And once the Navy showed up, I mean, we know those guys know what they're doing. So. Yeah. So. I was, I was pretty confident it would it would work out right. Although I, I didn't expect it to last that long. I was really, you know, that <sighs> kind of caught me by surprise. Did. We, I think we all thought that it'd be over by the next morning, and then that it, that it dragged on so long. And what about when he tried to escape the lifeboat? Were you aware that he did that when he did it, or was no, it not till later? I'm no, sure. I, I, I saw some. Uh, I didn't. I heard some news report about it, like a, a day later or something. You know, <laughs> really. Uh, uh, I don't know. Probably, uh, probably the mate and the chief engineer were being kept up to date by the company and that, but uh, the information didn't filter down to everyone. Did they do? <laughs> 